In this tutorial, I'm going to review how to use the new Tracer IFC export tool. The Tracer IFC export tool allows users to connect to an IFC file and process the IFC elements into an open relational SQLite database file. IFC files can be created out of a variety of 3D building information modeling softwares, including Revit, ARCHICAD, Tecla, Vectorworks, and more. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to a file path that has an IFC file. So you can see that I have this ability to set file path to an IFC file. And I'm going to find this file here that was created out of ARCHICAD. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the ARCHICAD file and um, open it up. Um, and what the interface is going to do is it's going to read the different element categories in the file and generate kind of an itemized report of the various elements that are available. So you can see that in this grid view, we have various selections that can be made. We have different category names. So if I only wanted to get the spaces or the stairs or the columns, I could choose to select those. Um, I can also sort here to see um, where the bulk of my information lies in terms of element count. Um, in this case, I'm just going to export everything. So I'm going to hit export. And what this is going to do is it's going to prompt me to save an SQLite database file with the DB data type. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit save. And what this is going to then do is it's going to prepare the file. It's going to open it up and prepare the three-dimensional context for the geometry. Now, depending on the size of your model file, this preparation of the 3D context may take some time. So there's a little bit of patience involved as the tool opens up the IFC file and prepares that 3D context. And once it is processed, you'll get a message that shows that, hey, I have had a number of IFC elements processed and that the SQLite database file has been saved. And I can just hit OK. And a file browser will open up and will show us the location of that saved DB file here. So you can see that the file has been saved here as a .db. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Power BI now to connect into this database file. And what Power BI can do is use an open database connection to stream the contents of this file in. So I'm going to jump into Power BI. And I'm going to go ahead and go to File, um, Browse Reports. And what I want to do is find one of our templates. So as part of the Tracer uh, documentation, we've prepared a number of different templates for exploring IFC data. So here's a template here called the IFC Data Explorer. And what this will contain are a number of views and visuals uh, for exploring this IFC data. So I'm going to hit Open. And we're going to be prompted to enter in a file path. So I'm going to locate that file that I generated. And I'm going to do a shift right click on that database file. And I'm going to do copy as path. And I'm going to jump back to Power BI. And I'm simply going to paste the file path to that database file and hit load. And what Power BI is going to do is it's going to reach into that database. It's going to grab information about the document, the itemized element record, along with the various parameters tied to those elements. And it's going to present them in this templatized report. And this report is going to have a three-dimensional view. You can see that that's loading right now. Um, it's going to have a couple of visuals here with a bar graph showing element counts. We have slicers. We have some files. Um, and what's cool here is that I can now use the tracer visual. Um, this is the same visual that comes with our Revit tool um, to visualize the three-dimensional data. And so now with the IFC uh, file support, um, now that we can process those files, we can now start to really view and navigate the contents of them within Power BI. So um, a couple of things to note about this interface is that um, I have this set up so I can select my different IFC elements. And um, you can see that my other views are becoming filtered here where I'm getting some data and kind of showing where things are. Um, I can use these slicers to, let's say, just identify where the spaces are. Um, it'll isolate the 3D spaces that are in this model. Um, so it allows me to do some filtering there. Um, I can um, look through, let's see if there's some other types here. If I want to just look at the windows, for example, um, there they are. Um, 
So yeah, uh, this this allows us now to kind of explore these IFC files and using the tracer visual and open database connectivity to the processed um, IFC data, um, we can start to now build reports using this information and support a variety of different building information programs that also support IFC. As I noted before, um, this data wasn't processed out of the tracer Revit tool, um, but the IFC file was created using um, ARCHICAD. So this is an ARCHICAD generated IFC file um, with um, the data and the geometry exposed in Power BI.